Hi, I'm Gail and welcome back to Gail's Low Carb Recipe Ideas, a YouTube channel and then my blog is lowcarbrecipeideas.com. Today we're going to take Deidre's bread and I'm going to make it into buns. You can make them into hamburger buns or hot dog buns and I was actually talking to um, just Jackie Low Carb. She um, has a video on her site and she gave me permission just to kind of copy what she had done is how she made the buns and weighing them and stuff. So I'm going to do a step-by-step -step, um, video here to show you how to weigh them and to to make them into nice little buns. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make it. So I've measured everything in advance just to make it a little bit quicker. So the first thing we're going to add in is 38 grams of oat fiber. Then we're going to add in 5 tablespoons of powdered, and remember powdered, erythritol. Um, you can use xylitol. It's up to you what sweetener you want to use. Then we're going to add in 84 grams of flaxseed, and it's ground. I grind my own. I find it way cheaper to do it that way, and my machine, Ninja Machine, does quite a good job at that. Now we're going to add in a half a teaspoon of xanthan gum. And if you, I'm hopefully I'm saying it correctly, but your xanthan gum is this right here. Okay, so it's Bob's Red Mill. And then we're going to add in, I'm using Himalayan salt, one and a quarter teaspoons of Himalayan salt or sea salt, that's up to you. And the last ingredient is going to be our vital wheat gluten. And what I'll do is I'll take a picture and put it on my site so you can see all the products that I'm using. So we're just going to mix this up really well. So now we're going to do the wet ingredients, and I've got my bread maker here. I'm just going to move this up just a little bit. And it's 553 grams for that weight of this um, part of the bread making machine. So I'm just going to zero it out. You can see there's a little zero there. I need to add in 200 grams of hot water. So I'm just going to pour it in. See if I can take just a tad out and see if it makes a difference. A little bit more. There we go, 200 grams. Add two eggs. There we go. So now we're going to add the dry ingredients. I'm just going to put a little hole in here where we're going to add in our teaspoon of honey. And then I'm going to add in a tablespoon, a heaping tablespoon of my yeast. I ordered SAF online, S-A-F online. I'm actually using, this is what I used to use, and I kept the jar because the um, SAF yeast comes in a, a foil, like a, a foil container, and it's not easy to store, so I just poured them into masonry jars, and then I used that jar. So now I'm going to put this, oops, sorry, I almost forgot, I weighed out the butter, and I will just put the butter all around the sides and it was 30 grams of butter and now we are ready to get it in the bread machine. So I've got my mixture all in my bread maker. I'm just going to close the lid and I have it on dark right now so we're just going to change the color to regular and then I have it on basic bread. So we're just going to start. 
Mine is a Black & Decker and it uh, seems to heat up or whatever 15 minutes and then it starts doing its rotation. So, I'll be back with you. Okay, I'm ready to take it out. Now, my machine, it'll beep a few times to tell me I could add in seeds or berries or whatever I want to add into the bread. Nuts, not berries. Um, and then after that, it'll continue kneading, mixing, and then it stops on the first one, and that's when I take it out of my machine. So now I'm going to dump it out onto my cutting board. And I'm going to, it's sticky a little bit, but that's okay. I'm going to just take off some pieces here. And if you can see, I'm going to weigh. That's 76, and it's around 77, 76 I want to have for the size of my button. So I'm just going to measure them. There's 76 again. And I'm going to continue measuring them that weight. So I weighed them all and I had a couple of, a little bit left over. So it worked out to an average about 80, 80 um, grams per. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got nine buns. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my cloth over top of the, um, the ones that I'm not working with just yet and we're going to work at one bun at a time. Bring it all around and sort of pinch it. If you can take it and push everything inside button. There we go. Hey, that's working out pretty good. I'm fairly new at this, like I said, and, and, and if you haven't tried it, it's, it's definitely worth the try. Stick your thumb up through the center. You can also roll it around a little if you want. There we go. This is actually kind of fun. Love the smell. Yeah, it smells really, really good. So let's just bring it all around. Sort of pinch it in. Stick your thumb through. Roll it a little bit. There you got it, nice. Perfect. We have another one. Good practice. Just good, good practice. Bring it all in. Pinch it. And stick your thumb through. Roll it. Perfect. So I'm going to use two Pyrex dishes. I've sprayed them with avocado oil and now I'm going to cover them with plastic and I'm because I like using my microwave but I just haven't got 
the space for both of them. So I'll put the small one in the microwave with some boiling water in a cup and then the other one I'll put in the oven, heat it up a little bit and I'm going to put a boiling water into the oven as well and let them rise. Okay, I just took them and took the plastic off of them, took them out of the microwave and the oven to um, get ready to bake them. So this is how much they've risen, which is absolutely lovely. Now the other ones, they're right there. So there's one over here that seems to be a little smaller, but I must have weighed incorrectly. So anyway, now we're going to put him in the oven at 325 for approximately 30 minutes. Man, am I ever pleased with my buns here. They're beautiful, lovely, and really a good size for hamburger buns. And you can also make them into hot dog buns or just have them buns like this. Now, um, I've cut one in half. This one had an air bubble in it, but it's still really good. So I'm just going to take a bite. Mm. Delicious. Excellent. Beautiful bun. Well, now it's your turn to try. So if you'd like to go to lowcarrecipeideas.com, try this recipe and try some of my others. Hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't subscribed. I'd love to have you following me. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye now.